Hi everybody and welcome back to Keto Christina. Before we jump into today's video, I wanted to remind you about a free summit that is happening starting on Monday the 24th of June 2019 and it's a summit of more than 20 experts from the health and fitness industry including yours truly and it's aimed at women and helping women achieve healthy and sustainable weight loss whether it's keto whether it's calorie counting or whatever way they want to approach it because remember keto doesn't work for everybody calorie counting works for some people so to join this free summit and listen to these amazing speakers you'll find a link in the description below and you can just click on it sign up and you'll get these, this free summit direct to your inbox next week so i wanted to talk today about weight gain on keto now you guys all know that i have had some issues with weight gain that were nothing to do with necessarily with keto it was to do with my gallbladder and my thyroid but some women have approached me and said that they were having trouble on keto they had plateaued and then they had eventually started to gain weight and were scared because what was working previously was not working anymore now one of the big issues around keto that not many people discuss is fat intake okay so we're obviously meant to eat a lot of fat and you've heard me say numerous times that we should be lowering our dietary fat so that we can eat our stored fat but some people still continue to have very high amounts of fat and the reason why is because they are leptin resistant now leptin is the hormone that signals your body to stop eating you're full that's it but obviously if you're resistant to it your body doesn't hear it the cells don't hear the message that it's time to stop eating and you're full and that's it so what happens is if you eat say for example you eat a fat bomb you're already metabolically unwell so even if that fat bomb is 80 percent saturated fat and saturated fat tells the cells something different to um unsaturated fat it, it, it saturated fat will give a message to the cells to stop um taking in energy and will repel it right but the problem is that you need leptin to be able to to be able to complete that cycle so if you are leptin resistant your cells are not getting the signal that we have enough fuel and your your fat cells even this will take in even the saturated fat so if you are eating fat to satiety and you think you're eating enough and and you are you are not losing weight it's highly likely that you have leptin resistance meaning you're still eating too much fat for the amount of fat that you have to burn on your body leptin resistance happens much the same way as insulin resistance happens there's too much leptin in our bodies and this is because the carbs the, the signal that carbs give to our body is taking more taking more taking more so the leptin stops being um, effective on our cells so the only way to um, increase leptin uh, sensitivity is through intermittent fasting or extended fasting there's no way around it because you need to remove leptin completely and let the body get resensitized to it and the only way to remove it for periods completely is by not eating because it's only secreted when we eat to tell the body stop we have enough so if you are metabolically well you can eat an 80 percent saturated fat fat bomb and you will not gain any weight and then you will have the proper signal so you'll stop eating and allow your body to use the stored body fat but in you and me the ones that are metabolically unwell still have weight to lose are overweight that's not going to happen if you eat too many fat bombs too much cream too much cheese and a lot of saturated fat even though the signal from saturated fat is will in a metabolically healthy person tell the cell to repel the energy in you and me that's not going to happen so take a look at how much fat you're eating and if you are still plateaued and you are still gaining weight on keto then you need to introduce some intermittent fasting and try and get that leptin resistance under control i know it might seem extremely complicated because we are talking about what happens at a metabolic biochemical level but the problem is that 
when we look at these type of systems in isolation, we miss essential parts. So yes, in a metabolically healthy person, you can eat 80% fat bombs every day and that's all you can live on and you will lose weight. But in a metabolically unwell person like you and me, we can't do that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you again next time.